Yo, what is up, everybody? It's Peace. I welcome to another video. Just got fifth place with Altergeist. I'm going to show you guys the list real quick. 40 cards. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, X1. Um, so uh, I've got three Mellow Seek, three Pukuri now, three Multifaker, and then three Marionetter. So these are the ones that you really want to see in your opening hand, which is why you max out on them. Uh, and then the rest is just a couple engine requirements. So uh, we do place two Silcritus. Um, some people think you can get away with one, but I like having two in rotation. And then uh, it's very useful to have the graveyard effect that adds back the trap card uh, when it's sent there, because you don't play a very large suite of traps in this version, because uh, this is the combo variant. But you can still, like, I still play, like, uh, trap cards that can, like, slow your opponent down. Um, you'll see those in the uh, the videos that I post. Next up is two Malwisp. You definitely need two of this because uh, part of the main combo, you add this to your hand, but if you already draw one, then you don't have anything to add to your hand and um, you can't use its uh, special ability to summon itself and summon one from grave. So you're losing two entire bodies uh, by by drawing the, the one of. So I, I play two of this and I think that's correct. Uh, this is not very common, the Paratrader, but I do the extended combo that ends on multiple spell trap negates, the uh, the take, and then also the negate. Um, but uh, you can probably take a look at the video that I have prior uh, for um, for the uh, the combo with Paratrader to dump the uh, revitalization. And then finally, one Kunkuri. Uh, you can actually summon this from your deck with either Multifaker or um, Banshee. And uh, on summon, you can negate a face-up card uh, while it's on the field. Uh, next up, finally for the monsters, we have three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Just a generic hand trap um, that's pretty useful. Just uh, You want to essentially slow down your opponent and be able to play the game and make your board um, and essentially win from there. Next up, spell cards. I cut the one for one. I am only playing two Prosperity. I only own two, but it's fine at two. Uh, it increases consistency, and you're not drawing cards in this deck, so Prosperity is basically just free. So, very useful card. Next, it's the rest of the deck is traps. So, uh, the Altergeist traps, you have one protocol. This is the monster negate. And then while it's face up, your monster effects cannot be negated. Uh, your activated effects cannot be negated uh, of your Altergeist monsters. The Manifestation, which is the, the Reborn. Um, revitalization, which is the Reborn for Lynx. And then you can banish it from your graveyard to actually um, uh, get an extra normal summon. And then finally, the Haunted Rock. This is like the only super hard brick of the deck. You don't want to draw this because you can set it off of Marionetter or um, Adminia, and that allows you to uh, basically activate a trap on turn zero, which is really nice. Then the honorary Altergeist card is Personal Spoofing. Uh, this card is crazy. You always want to see it. That's why you play three of it. Um, that's it for the Altergeist spells and traps. Next up, generic stuff. Uh, the Pseudo Hand Trap, Infinite Impermanence. Uh, it's really nice. It works with multi multi-faker. Uh, I, I actually got to multi-faker uh, imperm my opponent um, during one of the matches, so you'll see that posted later on. Um, next up, um, so this is a card that was in uh, one of the sets, I think Daifo, um, but it was also reprinted in the Megatons as a common, so you probably have a bunch of these. Uh, Ichi, <laughs> Ichiroku's Ledger Book. Um, so this essentially banishes two monsters your your opponent controls, and then they gain a thousand life for each one banished. It's really useful for just outing stuff really quick. They, they come back at the end phase, but it doesn't matter because as long as you have one turn to set up, your opponent is not going to win. Like, you snowball out of control and just kill them, which is really nice. You, you make it so that they can't play on their next turn. So this is really good in Alter Guy specifically. And it's a trap card, which can trigger multi-faker. Uh, then the one Daruma Cannon. This was also reprinted in the Megatons. And I unfortunately only opened one. I'd probably play more of this. I'd probably play two of this and then two of this. But um, this is essentially like this, but more powerful. It sets everything on the field. And then anything that was not set, it gets sent to the graveyard. Um, so yeah, pretty powerful. And then finally, Solemn Strike. You're not Alter Guys without Solemn Strike. Uh, I was considering playing Rivalry of the Warlords, but I, I don't feel like that's very strong, this format. Uh, but, like, Floodgates would be very nice uh, if if they were good and that you could play them in Altergeist. Because you cannot play Gozen Match or um, there can only be one. Next up, Extra Deck. So you've got uh, one Herald of Arclight. This is part of the combo with the one Mellow Seek. If you get drolled, you can make this um, after you search off of your Mellow Seek. Um, instead of making the Heat Soul to draw two combo. Uh, I did include the Drag Virion um, today. Uh, it came up in testing, but I don't think I summoned it at all. Um, but yeah, you just make it with Multi Faker and the, um, the uh, um, 
I forgot what it's called, Malwisp. And um, yeah, it lets you tr tribute itself once per turn. You can special summon it back, and, and then it also negates attacks. So that's pretty nice. Um, next up is the Lynx uh, Relinquished Anima. You got to play when you're playing level ones. Uh, Link Karibo, really nice. Uh, this climbs up into the Heat Soul. Uh, and then the one uh, uh, Majesty Mating. Um, it's just uh, useful to have when you're uh, making your uh, plays and your, if you're like locked into Spellcasters, for example. Uh, you can use um, Silquidus to make this as well, which is useful. Getting in Graveyard for like a Manifestation. Uh, next up, uh, three Hextia. You got to play three of that. Um, continuing with the Lynx 2s, uh, you have the Pit Knight early, also reprinted in the Megatons. But um, yeah, this is what you use to climb up into Heat Soul. Uh, then Nightmare Phoenix, uh, just generic back row removal. The one Banshee, um, I was thinking of actually putting this up to two because in tournament it came up uh, where I should play two. But I won that match anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, slower game states like you need more of the Lynx. Uh, Heat Soul for the draw two combo. Access Code Talker because you can easily climb up into it. And then two Edminia um, because this card is just crazy. It says take your opponent's card and then also set a card from your deck. Finally, side deck. Uh, it's just five different three ofs basically. Uh, so Gamma Seal. Um, Herald of the... Uh, or the, the Herald card that sends something would probably be better. But I just like the Kaijus a little bit better um, because they're not playing Thrust anyway. Uh, this does lock you out of your multi-faker during that turn, but it's just very uh, nice to be able to slap something on the board, and you can't really play around this like you can play around with the uh, the Herald of the Abyss. Um, next, uh, essentially three copies of Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, just, you're a combo deck now, so you want to get your opponent's back row out of there and then play the game from there. Um, next, uh, we do uh, technically play one Floodgate, the uh, Village of the Spellcasters, this is really good. If you could set it up, uh, your opponent's not going to have access to their spells. Um, but it's in the side deck because uh, some decks do have access to spellcasters, uh, like Branded, for example. Uh, evenly matched, it's just really good in Altergeist. It always will be. And then finally, Solemn Judgment uh, to negate anything your opponent does. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.